Justice Beatty, there have been several mail pieces that have gone out accusing different lawmakers across the state of voting to elect a liberal to the Supreme Court. What's your response to this? Some of the, some of the votes they've cited? You know, I, I've looked at some of the mail pieces. And in fact, I've had them delivered to me. Some of the legislators are concerned about uh, the information contained in them. And they're blatant lies or distortions, uh, to say the least. And they're not true uh, whatsoever. And we've gone through each one of those bills that they identified as support for their position in accusing me of this and accusing me of that. And all you have to do is read them. Go to the legislative web website and you'll see that those bills do not reflect what the um, conservatives in action or whatever name they want to go by this week are saying. Okay. Um, what's your response to these groups singling you out for this? You know, I'm a little bit perplexed by that. Uh, they say I took positions in 1991, 92. I've been on the, on the bench now for 12 years. On the, I was on the bench for 12 years, actually, but prior to going to the Supreme Court. Out of all the many thousands of cases I've handled and decisions I've made, they've not pointed to one that would support their accusations against me. And they don't talk about how I performed on the bench. What they want to talk about is legislation that occurred during my formative years in the legislature. Now, they don't mention that those same bills that they complain about were bills that were sponsored and led by major Republicans in this state. One being Bobby Harrell, who is now Speaker of the House. They don't oppose him. The other being David Wilkins, then Speaker of the House and now Ambassador of Canada. They don't oppose him. So if those things that I sponsored or signed on uh, with were so bad, why haven't they opposed these individuals? It, it, it's, it's baffling. Any thoughts on what could be the reasoning? You know, I, I've, I've uh, been quiet on this issue for quite some time. Throughout the campaign, I never said a word about it. I allowed it to go on, and I went about my business uh, trying to get that campaign behind me. But since that time, it has come up time and time and time again. And they use the same arguments that they've used before. And knowing that they're not true, so it makes you wonder, what is the reason behind their attacking me? Is it because I'm some easy target that they will be able to use cold words and, and my black face to appeal to voters that, that they might be able to enrage against the legislators who supported me? They're not just doing this in Spartanburg. They're doing it in Greenville against Representative Gloria Haskins over there. They're doing it down in Beaufort against another senator down there. And they're doing it here in Spartanburg County. So I, I'm wondering. I, I know it's a concerted effort. I know the money is coming from out of state. Uh, to, to support these people, and I'm just wondering what their real agenda is. No, I don't wonder about their real agenda. I know what their real agenda is. It's to destroy public schools in the state, number one. Uh, but uh, uh, there are other reasons. And, but attacking me and making me their poster child or their whipping boy, I don't, I don't understand that one. Other than I am a target of opportunity. I am good for political code words, bug words. These will give conservatives a bad name. I've heard them referred to on more than one occasion as a new face of the Klan. I'm almost about to believe that. Thank you, Justice Beatty.